Aquarius, hello. Welcome to your spice spread reading between you and another person. Doesn't have to be love, but we're gonna see what comes up here. Thank you for joining. We are going to investigate this situation here. Good to see you guys. Ooh, all right. Someone is going through a change, a massive change, a massive ending. Hmm. I see you trying to be compassionate with somebody here, Aquarius, and it's just getting more and more difficult. It's like, I'm trying to be nice. You're making it hard for me. Like, I'm, sh I'm putting in my efforts here. I'm showing you, like, I go out of my way to do stuff for you. I feel like I'm constantly taking care of you, constantly wiping for you, basically. And this is wearing me down. So something is changing regarding that, guys. I feel like you're getting tired here of kind of keeping up with someone else's desires, someone else's needs when yours are kind of stifled. Now, keep in mind, this could be vice versa, but that's just what I'm getting. So I feel like you're going to be telling someone what you really think. I feel like you're going to be very um, open about this. You're going to be honest. You're going to be blunt. You're going to say, hey, I've been doing all this stuff. You're not recognizing me. You're not giving me the proper um, acknowledgement. You don't have to say thank you, but you're not even acknowledging that I do all this stuff for you all day. You don't notice I do all this. Some of you, this is work. Could be. Well, goodness gracious. So you're making a big change as it relates to that. You're like, ah, no more. That's not going to happen anymore. That's what I'm getting. I still feel like someone here has some secret feelings, okay? There's some sort of um, secret feelings that is going to come out. So that's ending. All right. Very nice. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got here. We are going to pull for Aquarius on the left, partner A. I am calling Aquarius. He could be on either side. Let's see. Show me Aquarius, please. I feel like, yeah, someone's just not being recognized for all the efforts that they're putting in to something that they've been committed to. Yeah, I see you kind of being committed to something here. Yeah, you're not receiving the proper... I guess rewards, acknowledgement, something of the sort here. So I see you kind of being sad about that. You feel down about that. Okay. So also Aquarius, you're thinking about how to pick up the pieces and move in a different direction. This could re result in that change that we're talking about because you're trying to turn a bad situation good. It's like you're revisiting how you've behaved in a situation here, whether it's work or a relationship. You're reassessing and you're like, okay, that didn't work. So let me just tweak this. That didn't work. Let me change that. That's what I'm seeing here for you. Yeah. Bottom of the deck, we have the wheel here. Somebody is making a major emotional change too, or possibly someone doesn't feel the same. And this is resulting in a change as well. Um, I'm, I'm also getting those hidden feelings here coming to light again. Again, that's just what that is. Okay. A lot of earth energy coming out here. There's a little bit of water too. Let's see what happens. Let's see, let's see. Maybe you guys have some Capricorn placements. You don't have to. Let's see partner B here. Yeah, okay. I feel like you're gonna be focused on something that is going to be more fruitful, more beneficial, a better way to handle things, you know, not be so down about it. Partner B, it's a choice, I see. I see you making that choice. Partner B. You're like, yeah, this sucks, but I'm gonna do this instead. So partner B, okay, partner B is reflecting some sort of um, disappointment majorly. Looks like you guys have had an ending with one another or an argument here that resulted in people pulling away. Hmm. Yeah, this is someone who is trying to heal from the wounds inflicted between you and them.
Huh. What else? It's like you guys have to make a major change because whatever happened before was not working. I'm also seeing there could be a fair amount of people being in your business. Partner B is like, let me heal up. Let me wait on that. Let me think about things. Or it's like they're waiting on something to change here, possibly emotionally, because I don't feel like they're doing too well there. Mm, it's mental energy. Okay, they feel like they've lost something stable, something um, something that was meant to be permanent or some sort of financial stability as well. So this is really weighing on this person, on partner B side. Back to Aquarius, partner A. I just see you not wanting to do the same thing again, Aquarius. It's like, I, I can't keep doing this. I'm not going to keep doing it the same way. It's not going to play out the same way. No. And you kind of say, no, you feel bad about this. There you are. Aquarius coming out with that star card. Lovely. Thank you for showing up. Yeah. I see you kind of retreating from this person. This is really making you think, really think about what you're looking for. You could be searching for solutions. It's like you're reassessing the past. That's what I'm getting. And you're formulating a new way, a new way of being, a new way of relating with someone. You have a lot of thinking going on here, guys. You could be trying to take a break from someone or someone's taking a break from you. There's a lot of sadness about that, but you're you're really trying to pick up those pieces. So it's not like you're being, I guess, stuck there. You know what I mean? Yeah, I do see you getting um, some information coming to you, some conversation coming to you. It's going to be a healing conversation. This is happening pretty soon. Just saying, absolutely. This could um, involve either a company or a relationship. Yeah. This is not, this is kind of temporary on Aquarius society. Let's see what's going on partner B. Partner B. Yeah, but definitely you retreat here, Aquarius. Show me partner B. I see you kind of thinking about like what this person has said, what this person has done, and it's just kind of like, a bummer, I guess. It's a really bummy type feeling, I guess. What? You know why? Partner B is going to come in with the one, two. This is someone who has a lot to say and it's going to be super hurtful because they're coming from a place of hurt. This is not nice conversation coming in um and that's why people retreat here okay i see you trying to be okay partner a side whoever you are you're trying to be the bigger person here you're kind of saying okay i'm not going to participate in those games i'm not going to participate in your word play that word salad or whatever that is here because i feel like partner b gets a little bit harsh here And then you kind of walk away thinking about like, wow, did that person really just say that to me? That It's like a slap in the face. Yeah, I feel like this person says that you don't, you don't make them happy, you don't do enough, this kind of thing. It's really bizarre. Let's ask about this really quickly. Because you're, you're fed up or not wanting to deal with this, like this drama, um, these games. I'm getting like, it's kind of like a game. What is this? It's like you guys take a break from one another, then they come out swinging. Like trying to stir the pot, trying to start some drama, this kind of thing. Yeah, that's exactly what this is. They're coming forward, so I feel like they want to like 
assert their position in a sense. Um, it's kind of like, this is my house, or this is my family, this is my company, and I don't know. It, they, they feel like they have to prove something, or what in the world? Some of you, there's drama here with a cancer. There could be drama about wanting to move. Yeah, there's some, someone here is trying to like pack up and leave or pack up and move or just get out of the way because it's just gotten into a big blow up. I feel like when they see that you don't react here, they kind of stop with the, with the drama, with the shenanigans or whatever. You also could be dealing with somebody who has a lot of stress in their own personal lives in the first place. So keep that in mind, I guess, if you want to, because it's coming off pretty... Um, intensely, I guess. All right, let's see what else we got going on here, and then we'll see who you could be dealing with. I also see someone, like, calling the cops, guys. Or, like, there's police involved, or if somebody gets too rowdy, there's going to be some police involved. Partner B-side. Huh, okay, that's not everybody. Okay, I see the peace restored in your household here. It's going to be a fortunate change. Um, this involves, for some reason, this is kind of tricky to do. Why is that? There's some sort of like in and out. You have a strategy in mind here, Aquarius, is what I'm getting. And this is going to restore some sort of peace and balance in your home life, in your family, in your company. Absolutely. involves a good amount of clarity here. I see someone kind of like getting information by spying. <laughs> oh my gosh, what is this reading, guys? I don't know. Okay. Um, someone here is getting information by spying about someone's family life, about their home life, about whatever it is that they're going through here. Okay, there's a lot of spying and there's going to be like an informant. So someone's going to come to you and say, hey, this is what's really going on and whatever the case. That's kind of what the risky part is here, but it gets things off to like a better... Mm, so it seems like... It seems like this information is for the better. Strangely enough. Okay. It's about someone's past. I also feel like whatever information this is, is going to make you question um, moving on, moving forward or not. Because you've got some questions about the past situation, you've got some questions about someone here, could be a family member or a soulmate type of energy. It doesn't have to be. It's just that you want some information about somebody to clear the air. And so you have somebody actually tell you stuff, it's for the benefit. It's very strange. You get information from the past that comes up here. You are Aquarius. Someone's stuck between a rock and hard place about completely ending it now. Because whatever information comes in, it's kind of like, 
why are you trying to be sweet now or um, something sweet like sweet natured comes in it's about kind of healing the situation and I feel like you're kind of questioning it still but also not completely being detached I feel like you're not having it though at the same time but somehow this is still here or it's coming back that's what I'm saying This is very bizarre, Aquarius. I don't know how many of you this is for this time. Anyway. Any salons wants to pop out? It could be like some family secret as well. Something weird like that. Wow, okay, never mind. Um, <laughs> yeah, someone here doesn't want to put an end to a stable situation. That's what I'm seeing. Okay, if you are dealing with an Aries, ooh, whatever information you've been waiting for, communication you've been waiting for, it's gonna come in, it's gonna come in quickly, there's gonna be a lot of it, okay? Um, Yeah, could be someone wanting to go on a vacation as well, something of the sort. Dealing with a Leo, I also see you getting communication between you and this person, but there's a lot of straightforward, kind of like blunt type of energy coming off of that. It's like um, expressing some disappointments and this kind of thing, but it will alleviate the situation. If you are dealing with a Libra, this is someone who is no longer feeling hurt or you're no longer feeling hurt by them. So there's a relief there. Um, if you are dealing with a Gemini, I see some sort of, wow, brand new beginning. There's some sort of justice here. There's a happy celebration going on there also. It could involve some amount of money but definitely a stable offer someone paying for someone's drinks or celebrations parties whatever is going on there a happy time okay involving in gemini if you are dealing with a libra again the libra yeah this is someone who is coming out of some sort of ooh. some of you there's a third party situation there and that's ended or being ended others of you this is just someone I guess they don't really, it's almost like they don't really care about love, but they also have feelings going on here at the same time. Mm, okay. If you're dealing with a Pisces, hmm. I don't know why they're coming off as kind of nonchalant or like they have a lot of options or you do or maybe someone is lacking a priority there but it looks like if you're dealing with the pisces there's also some sort of i guess good break like a major break between you and this person and not like a break from apart but like a in a good direction so some sort of victory i guess you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying if you're dealing with a Capricorn, someone here doesn't want to talk because there's too much, ooh, careful, too much fighting, panicking, one-upping. There's a lot of drama going on there. Be careful. Dealing with a Scorpio, someone's like, no, I don't want to um, touch you. I don't want to be in your vicinity. Leave me the F alone, basically. One of you guys. Something about no more intimacy also. <laughs> okay. All right. Um. Interesting. Hmm. That's you, Aquarius. Yeah, someone here wants to offer some sort of friendship or... 
like make amends with you and you're just like, ah, I don't know about that, let me think about it, basically. Like, sleep on it. Dealing with a Sagittarius, wow. Someone here is going to be telling you that they're gonna work on some things here. I don't know how interested you are. It's like you hear from them after a while, something of the sort. Pisces here is working super hard. They have a lot going on, or you do. There's also a lot of stress here. It could be finance related. Okay, that's all I have for you today, Aquarius. Um, feel free to check your previous and future reads if it did or did not resonate, whatever the case. Okay, I love ya, and I'll see ya next time. Kisses. Bye.